welcome to my messy shop so i'm working on the rear dana 44 and uh, i've torn down two dana 44s and uh, i've got one down here on the floor that has the original setup for the dana 44. this one up here has uh the zj mounts already set up so i've been altering this truss to go around um, those mounts I've got it just about done I'm still debating on whether to go with 35 spline axles and if I go with 35 spline axles then you have to go with a 35 spline locker so I was trying to do this on more of a budget and uh, so if I use the stock axles I can just use a lunchbox locker and uh, so far the lunchbox lockers that I've been using have been awesome I love them and in the rear I don't think it's a big deal uh, it's a little more annoying in the front but uh, I don't know tell me what you think um, I'm not sure what to do it's you know 200 bucks for a lunchbox locker and it's uh, Closer to $2,000 to go with the 35 spline axles and a locker. So it's 10 times the price. I might just trust this up and then go with the stock axles and the lunchbox locker for now and then do that upgrade down the road. Because uh, then you still have to buy the bearing kits and all kinds of stuff. It gets expensive pretty fast. So. Um, I do have the 538 gears here, or 513. Let's see. Yeah, we got the the 513 pin, and you can see how small that is uh, compared to, let's see, the stock. What is it? The 373 is right up here. Whoa, so you can see the difference there. There's a lot less grip on that small pinion, so that's definitely a weak point. Um, so I also am having issues with the front. So this is a JK44. And so with it being trussed up, I think it, that's going to help the the flex. You know, I think these have issues of bending. Uh, but I'm not putting a lot of torque on this. And I don't drive crazy. I never jump or power through anything. So um, pretty much just crawling. The... Uh, the front 44, you can see I've got it trussed up here. It's a JL 44. Well, it turns out that at this point in time, they don't have much as far as aftermarket kits for this thing. Like, you can't go to the auto parts store and order a shim kit. They don't have anything for a 2020 Wrangler. So, um, I did find some things from Rock Auto that I've ordered and we'll see if they're gonna work or not. Um, but this is kind of on hold until I get a shim kit because I can't get the, the spacing even close to right. The backlash is, is massive. Uh, even with the uh, carrier all the way over, um, the backlash is still crazy. So I've got to bring the pinion push the pinion in so i need pinion spacers uh, and then we should be in the ballpark so uh, this is on hold until that arrives and uh, i guess that's about it so yeah this place is still a disaster um i just keep starting new projects here and uh, i've got to finish these up so i think i'm gonna probably go with the lunchbox locker for now and then i'll do the super 44 upgrade later and because i have two of these um i think what i'm going to do with this one is make this a super 44 and i can get a truss that's for a wj so the other jeep that i have is a wj with a v8 and so this will be a perfect candidate to uh you know the wj has that aluminum housing uh which is pretty weak so if i build this up i think that's going to be a perfect uh, swap so that's where we are.